been using the uh, Marconi signal generators this evening to uh, check the calibration of the Marconi modulation meter. Uh, I was using it at 1 gigahertz uh, and just left it running for a while at 0 dBm. Uh, and when I came back to the workshop I noticed the uh, modulation meter was showing this display which means it hasn't got any input. So I thought our oh, modulation meter is packed up. Uh, so I messed about with the modulation meter and turned it off and back on and did a cal and made no difference at all. So I thought, well, I'll uh, plug in the uh, modulation meter into the uh, Roden Schwartz. Straight away I got an um, indication on the meter. So my trusty old Marconi that's never ever gone wrong has gone wrong. Uh, and it looks like the output has dropped down to a very, very weak, sort of very noisy signal. Um, let me just show you here. I mean there's no sh signs of any error messages on the screen or anything um, but there is clearly a problem. Now I was running at, at 1 gig which is a higher frequency than I uh, usually run at and I'm wondering if um, I had a problem with termination, I had a high v VSWR or something like that. It's outputting 10 megs 10.7 megs at 0 dBm output is uh, on and this is all you get on the waveform we're getting about 2 millivolts now you clearly are getting something out of here but it's minute that's uh, that's 1 meg uh, but we got no no output voltage at all so to me that looks like the output stage is blown so the uh, next step to obviously find out what's gone wrong is to whip the top off it and uh, see if we can track down the uh, power up stage. Now I've had very little experience with this generator because it's been so reliable it's just when I bought it it had a leaky capacitor about, it was about three or four years ago. Replaced the capacitor and it worked perfectly after that um, and it's obviously th thrown in the towel this evening. Uh, I want to get this up and running again because it's a, it's a nice piece of gear and uh, it does get used quite a lot. So let's uh, get the top off and have a look. Alright, it's the bottom of the unit. This is the uh, ex bottom end exposed. This is the output stage and this is the output transistor here. It's actually uh, got a warning symbol on it saying it's uh, dangerous to... Uh, I don't know if to contact or not. It, I've seen this in the manual actually and someone said that it's only dangerous if it sort of you damage it and uh, open up the interior. It's, is it be barium? B-E-O. Someone must know that. Does it just mean it smells bad? Um, anyway, the AC4 transistor, which is this transistor here, is the output transistor. Um, it's, it's how lovely these things are made inside. This is uh, I've never had this apart on this side of the board, but it's um, because it's been so bloody reliable. Um, but it's uh, very nicely laid out. Now, interestingly enough, I probe the output of the uh, signal here. I'm getting 100 millivolts at 0 dBm, so even though that looks a bit low still, uh, the level is much higher than it was at the attenuator. I'm just having a look at some of the other points. It looks to me that wherever I probe on that transistor, ah, we've got a huge signal there. So that must be the output. So that must be the emitter, I imagine. I need to get the layout and sort the layout out. My schematics aren't very good for this, but just turn the turn the gain down. So it's two volts per division. Look here. Okay, maybe two volts per division was a bit optimistic. Now in theory the, this is all before the attenuator so this, whatever I do with the attenuator shouldn't make any difference. So select RF level, set it to plus 13 dBm which is it's a... Uh, is that plus 13 dBm? Yes it is plus 13 dBm. Shouldn't make any difference to the level at all. Uh, so we're getting, what are we getting there? Two, four, nearly six volts peak to peak. Okay, so this is it comes out of this uh, connector here. So I think that maybe the next thing to do is try and work out where that goes. Now that must go off to the attenuator uh, for attenuation. I suppose I could just check the front panel again, make sure it doesn't come back. Oh, 
God, can you believe this? The signal's come back again. So why is that? Okay, so I need to do a few other checks. So I wanted to <laughs> if I jumped the gun and it was a faulty lead. Okay, let's uh, let's let's put this connect this back up to the uh, scope properly from the front panel and see if my signal's returned again. Okay, right. Back on the rack again. I got left the top off just in case there was uh, anything else I needed to do to it. Let's connect the scope up now. 10 megs, 0 dBm. Loads of drive. That's, uh, what's that? 2, 4, 500 millivolts peak to peak. Looking good. So, what the hell's going on? Well, I'll show you what's going on. Oh look, no bloody output. So, of course, the first thing you think is, oh no, signal generator's packed up. Rather than think, hold on a minute, could the capacitor have broken off inside here? No, so it's uh, going to be the worst case scenario. So I've taken the signal generator apart, uh, found nothing, apart when I probed the um, output of the output stage. And of course, there's nothing wrong with the signal generator. My super reliable Marconi signal generator is still uh, super reliable and actually my soldering is obviously rubbish and the capacitor's broken off so let's have a look inside here and see see what's gone wrong here I mean it's a I know it's a pretty complicated piece of gear this uh, a decoupling capacitor in series with a couple of connections so let's uh, pop the cover off and see what uh, what lurks inside okay this is uh, what's inside just a simple series decoupling capacitor and if you look at the connections, I mean, I know they're only tacked on, but they look all right initially. But obviously there is something wrong, unless this capacitor's gone open, which they never do. So, there we go. You can see there, epoxy things not even soldered in. So, down to poor workmanship by me. Take full responsibility for that. Uh, and I'm going to publish this video to show that uh, don't always assume the worst if, you're, if you've got problems with a bit of gear don't automatically assume that it is the gear take a step back uh, and uh, check the leads before you uh, before you start taking the whole thing apart and uh, fretting over if you're going to be able to get parts for it thanks for watching and uh, more to come <laughs> you stupid boy <laughs>